Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to install a piece of regression software that I've written for clinical chemists on a Windows computer where you do not have administrative privileges. This will be true for most people at their work sites. Most often we don't have the ability to install new software on our computers at work. This is something that has been a personal frustration for many of us. So I've written this software in a way that you don't need administrative privileges in order to use it. You're just going to download a zip file, you're going to put it on your desktop, unzip it, and then you'll be able to use the software. So the first we're going to go to the software website, which is cprsoftware.blogspot.com. CPR stands for Chemical Pathology R. I want you to scroll down to the download section of the website and pick Windows 32-bit pre-compiled binary. Click on that and you'll be taken to a SourceForge page in a new tab and the download will begin automatically in about two or three seconds. Once the download begins you can wait for the download to complete. Now it's not a small file because it includes a complete installation of the R statistical programming language. Anyways, because it's large I've done downloaded ahead of, ahead of time and what we're going to do is negotiate our way to the downloads uh, area of our browser. Now for each browser where your downloads are stored might be a little bit different and you might actually be able to select where you're going to save it when it starts to download. If you're going to select a place to save it, I would save it to the desktop. In any case, in Chrome you can just click show all downloads and uh, there's the download that I cancelled and just remove that from the list and I'm going to go to open the downloads folder and in that case, in this case it'll be documents and setting, Daniel Holmes, my documents, downloads and it'll be something similar on your computer. In any case, when you found the download, you're going to copy it, control C, and bring it over to the desktop and paste it. You want it on the desktop, that's the easiest place for you to do all this. So now we're done with the browser, we can go to our zip file. Now, all you need to do is right click on the zip file and click extract all. And that'll uh, automatically open up the Windows uh, default uh, unzipping program. Now I'm going to use 7-zip here, you don't have to do that just because it's a little fa faster for the video. And click extract files. It's going to tell me the directory that it's going to open to and that's just fine that name there. We can we can change it later. Click OK and then the extraction process will, will occur and uh, because there's a full installation of R, as I mentioned, you're going to see a lot of files. Uh, I didn't write all those, I can assure you. So we'll just uh, wait for that to complete itself. I know this is the, this is the part where everybody can talk amongst themselves. Okay, so that's just finishing up. And in fact, you can run R from inside, which I'll show you, which I show you in another video. Okay, now your extraction is complete. This is kind of a um, kind of a cumbersome name for a directory, so I'm just going to rename it. Just call it CPR. Okay, that's a little more straightforward. Go into the directory. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of different directories and files. Don't move or delete any of them. What you want to do is you is click on the icon CPR, or in older versions of the software it didn't have an icon, it was just a little empty box there, but it was called CPR. Click on that, and now your file will open up, and there it is, ready to run. Okay, in another video I show you how to use it, so that's all we have for now. Hope that was helpful to you, and should work for just about any version of Windows that's out there. Tried it on a lot of them, haven't had any trouble. Okay, thanks for your attention.